Selamat pagi! In this very beautiful morning today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Xiaomi Bluetooth gamepad to a Windows PC. So let's start! But first, let's do the unboxing. First, we got this very beautiful box. Simplistic and minimalist from Xiaomi. Opening inside, we've got where is my paper? Shoot. Oh, crap. This is not looking good. Oh, crap. It's stuck here. Okay, so we've got this paperwork over here. Everything is Chinese. So if you can read Chinese, that's good, but throw this away for the moment. It's not useful. We're going to the main attraction. I'm just throw this away. Yeah, this is the Xiaomi Bluetooth controller. It's got this Xbox layout while using the PS4 style trigger. It's powered by 2AA battery that is included in the box. So, without further ado, let's go connect this thing and play. Okay, so you just first open this website over here. I put this link down in the description below. It's a GitHub from Iron Gen 2. It's a pretty basic controller mapper, uh, a Xiaomi gamepad to Xbox 360. Uh, no fancy remapping buttons whatsoever like that, but you can do that later in Steam because Steam actually supports remapping the Xbox 360 buttons and It has this rumble support and it actually works pretty well I've used it for an, about a month now and So you just hit that button download button over there wait for it to download It's a pretty small one and you just extract this file over here Okay, so first there is two steps. You just first install this thing, the SCP driver. You untick the Bluetooth driver and tick the force install. Click on install, that's done. And basically you're done with this. The second step and the last is you just pair your Bluetooth controller with your PC. So the pairing process is simple, it's just you hold this me button in the center for a while until it blinks and then you just go ahead and pair it to your computer just like any normal Bluetooth peripheral and after connected this Bluetooth gamepad will vibrate a bit showing you that it's connected. It's a nice touch from Xiaomi. And you just run this me application over here. It will show you there is one controller is connected and there it will support up to four controllers even though I haven't tried that yet. I just tried two controllers at the same time. It's now detected as an Xbox 360 controller. You just run your games, open up your Steam. To show you how does it work, you can uh, open this Steam in big picture mode. Oh, what, what is this? No, 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 no. You a guest account. Okay, so uh, you can uh, go to the settings button over there and there's a controller settings here. First you have to turn this Xbox configuration support on. In my case, I've turned this on already. And oh, what is this? I'll deregister this account. Bye bye. Okay. So now you can go just go to your library and launch a game. So yeah. Go to exhibition here, just uh, put anything. Oh really, I just play by myself. I mean, I, I'm playing with myself. Oh crap, okay. So yeah. Just showing you how does this work, how simple it is and yeah, it's working really well. It's a really good budget controller if you want to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm not good at this. Come on, come on. Okay, so it's a really good controller. Yeah, it rumbles when you score it, and everything works really well. It's really good. So, this is a really well made controller from Xiaomi, especially considering the price. When compared to PS4 or Xbox One controllers, they cost 3 or 4 times more, but yes, they are better, but when you get 90% of the functions with just one third of the price, why not? At the same time, when you get one of those controllers, you can already get 3 of this and start multiplayer games 
with your friends, with your families, all those good stuff. That's a steal. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, you can comment down below if you got any problem or any suggestions you can give me. That is always welcome. And hope to see you in the next video. See ya.